It's time to rethink the song a week strategy. I hear it all the time. Drop a song a week. Drop content every day along with it. Keep going, keep going, keep rolling to the point that the artists get frustrated because there's not any nuance added into that. Am I against song of the week? No, we've had multiple artists that we've implemented that strategy with and it's gone amazing. However, on the other end, does song of the week make sense at all time? Does dropping content every single day make sense at all time for every single artist? Not necessarily. And there's a big solution that I think most people need to take on. All right. It's one simple solution. What is that solution? Putting a shorter time period on your song a week strategy. Historically, everybody's been committing to a year. Let me do 52 weeks when it comes to dropping a song a week. But the reality is Russ did it. And a lot of other people did it in a year. It does seem like a good time. Gary V even said, if you drop a song a week for every single year, like you got to blow up if your music's good. Like everybody has said something like that, right? But no one said that you can't do a song a week for four weeks, a song a week for three months, a song a week for six months. Committing to shorter time periods has a lot of advantages, a whole lot of advantages where you might be starting as a brand new artist and you're getting out the gate and you just want to get a catalog out there and you want to take off for a period of time. Right. And then you drop. And when I say take off, like not take off, like stop, take off, like, bam, I'm out the gate. I'm flying. Right. I'm dropping a lot of music and then I stop because I've accomplished the goal of getting a catalog out there. There's multiple goals. So I have three, actually four really important questions that I ask artists to advise them on how they approach this, right? And it'll help you, I promise you, because we've seen a lot of artists, again, take off with this strategy, but other artists adjust from this strategy and get even better results, because it's all about why are you doing it? Are you just doing it because somebody else said do it? You saw me do a video, or the many other people who have mentioned that particular strategy do a video? Or have you really thought through it, all right? And I'm gonna walk through this because this, is actually my qu answer to these questions are actually the reasons that I'm not going to be dropping a Saturday video every single week for here on out. All right. And I'll walk you through that. I'll explain for those of y'all who know y'all have been watching these Saturday videos. Yeah, that's a wild way to announce it. Right. But you'll see why and it'll be useful to you as well. So the first question is, why am I doing this? All right. Or am I doing it for the views, right? I think I'm going to post a lot of content or I'm going to post a lot of music and get more views and streams over time because I want to keep the algorithm going and rolling. That's something to think about, right? Am I doing it because I'm looking to test and learn, right? When I say test and learn, I'm trying to understand myself. I might not have any content out there, any music out there at all. You keep hearing me say content and music interchangeably because it, the same thing applies on both ends. So I might be trying to learn who my audience is or learn who I am, how I like to create my music. Did I like how that feel felt? Right. Or did I like how that content was received? How do I want to adjust things from there? Right. That's a legitimate reason. Right. And we're just first on. We're still on the first question that you're asking yourself. These are just different subsets of that same question. All right. Also, what about quality? outlet are, are you doing it because you just feel like i have a lot to get out i have a lot to say and i need to get this out of me or i know i have these projects and in between i just want to be able to create and push stuff out that isn't in line with other more you know um suit and tie like straight lace types projects that i have going on whatever the purpose is right um a creative outlet could legitimately be a reason and then the last reason and this is the big thing training yourself right a big 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 reason i promote doing a song a week or dropping content every day for periods of time is training yourself getting out of your own way if you're insecure just blacking out go 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 so now you're not thinking because a lot of times we do get in our own heads we do make the each post bigger than it has to be each song bigger than it has to be and it's always going to be bigger the less you do if i'm only dropping one song a year oh that song better hit right so are you in a mode of training yourself in terms of your own anxiety all right training yourself to just build the muscle of what it looks like building your systems on the background those are all valid reasons all right to keep dropping a song a week but you know it's not a reason to keep dropping a song a week if it has anything to do with your ego all right it's like i'm gonna do that because i saw other people do that or I'm three weeks deep, I'm four weeks deep, I'm six months deep, and I'm gonna keep doing it 
just because I said I was going to do it. And now I'm doing it out of ego just to make it to a year or just to make it to three months or whatever my goal was. Right. Because even if you shorted it to three months instead of a year, it still might not make sense to keep going. And this is what we're going through these questions for and how you can pivot up out of it. Why it makes sense. Right. But ego, I'm telling you, ego will take you on some journeys that you don't need to be on. And the faster you can realize when you're on an ego trip, right, and bring that back, go ahead and hop off that train, the faster you can become successful, right? Because we take ourselves on it over and over again in little instances. It slides through and you just have to catch it and get yourself right back on track, all right? So you can continue on the right paths that are going to be more impactful for you. So all that's about question number one. Why am I doing this in the first place? Second question, can I do this? That's another question that is a very valid question because do I have the resources to do it? Do I have the legitimate time to do it? Like truly understanding, do I have the time? And do I have a question from more of an ego or insecurity standpoint of if I can do this or not? If you know you can do it already, which in my case, I know for a fact I can do it. I've done it multiple times. Then, okay, I can get that out the way. I don't even have to prove that even though that's some ego stuff. I don't even have to prove that to my ego because I know I can do it, mm-hmm. right? But also, can I do it physically, right? In terms of my time and what makes sense to do, which leads into one of the later questions is going to be the big question. But number three, what is the benefit and impact? This answer changes for everybody at different times. For a brand new artist, I'm extremely, extremely bullish, right? I highly promote dropping as much content, dropping as much music as possible because it allows you to discover and develop yourself, right? Discover how people receive you and understand who they are, where you're going to connect. The faster you move, right? The faster you can take in this information, the better off you are because you can target, find the bullseye, and now you can start getting a better ROI per post, per song. That's what we all want to get to, right? We don't want to have to drop a song a week or have to drop um, content every single day. You know, we might use it to take our strategy to a whole nother level, but we don't always want to be in a point where we have to do that. You get what I'm saying? So that's when we get into the second part. If you're an um, artist that's not at ground zero, right, and you have a good fan base, you have decent engagement on online when you post and when you drop on um, Spotify or whatever, you organically have good content. I mean, good activity. Cool. So why are you dropping a song a week now? Does it make sense? Are there better results that you could be getting from something else? And I'm not saying that like you shouldn't do it, right? Because there's eras and periods of time where it's like, no, let's let's flood the marketplace. Remind people I'm here, right? I might have just taken a break. And this is where we get into those shorter periods of time where, yo, I'm about to go crazy for about six to nine weeks. And when I go with um, crazy for that period, I'm blacking out. I'm dropping as much music as possible. Or maybe I'm dropping as much content as possible. And I'm taking control of the perception that my audience has of me. And I'm going to be in their face at all times. But then when I'm done with this period, for whatever I chose, for whatever reason I chose to go hard in that period, I can dial back. And maybe I'm only doing three posts a week and maybe I'm only doing one song a month or maybe I don't even drop another song for three months. Right. And maybe I don't even post for a couple of weeks. It could look different once you start having that leverage and you already have a certain level of organic activity. The biggest problems and the biggest discouragement that artists get is feeling like this is forever or any content creator. I have to do this forever. Or I have to do this a year because someone told me to not off of the analysis of what makes sense for me in general. All right. So that's a big thing. Now, number four, this is the biggest one of all. Opportunity costs. Opportunity costs. What are you missing out on by putting your energy into this? And this looks different at different times for different artists and different periods. And even if you were dropping a song a week for only seven, eight weeks, that still could have a high opportunity cost depending on what happens. Case in point, what if on week two, a song just starts taking off and you already had the plan, I'm gonna keep creating content towards all these other songs that are coming out, I'm gonna keep dropping a song a week and you just completely ignore song number two 
that could be having a moment in time, a window of opportunity has opened up, but you're not taking advantage of that opportunity. And once it closes, yeah, you can still post to it, but it'll be hard to create another one of those windows of opportunity. All right. So what are you missing out on? And that's a huge thing that um, we focus on when it comes to just advising and working with artists. All right. You might be on week number eight, nine of your year long song a week strategy. But even if you drop another song a week, cool but you need to stop at song number six in terms of your focus and primary energy and you can drop those other songs more passively if you want to stick to that schedule for whatever reason it can make sense still in some cases but just generally speaking know that you can pivot and if the data shows you something different then change directions like lean into what's working or what if you're six weeks seven weeks eight weeks deep and you're still getting like zero views you're still getting like a hundred views. You're getting zero streams. Why am I still doing this? Am I just doing it just to check a box? Or did I want to do this in the first place because I was hoping to do it to increase my views and my fans at the end of the day, right? That's something that you have to be aware of. That's why we always go back to why. Why was number one, all right? Also with number one, like what's another reason that we could have been doing this? Oh, I'm doing this to train myself to have the muscle. Okay, I could have zero views in eight weeks, but I do have now the muscle to get myself to tr to post, right? And to get out of my own head. I train myself a bit, but still the argument would be, don't just post to post. This is a huge issue that ha people have when it comes to dropping a song a week, uh, content every single week, whatever you want to call it, or daily. They forget that practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect, right? So me just like shooting a whole bunch of shots like that, that doesn't really do much. But me making sure I'm shooting with the perfect form that has the highest probability of actually going in the rim and making sure every shot that I practice with has that perfect form, that's going to increase and make me better. So what does that look like when it comes to your content? Actually analyzing your content, tweaking, analyzing your content, tweaking. So every single post is still getting better. This is the issue when it comes to people doing a huge catalog when it comes to content and you're like doing four months straight of content before you even start dropping content you don't even know how people are going to respond to it right so keep that in mind but back to the idea of the opportunity cost so like for me for instance a huge reason why i wanted to get into it because there was um for me with saturday videos for instance was there were some things i wanted to express that i couldn't do in my regular format one, I've now expressed a lot of the things. There's still more that I want to express. However, the opportunity cost, right, just became too high where I realized for the last couple of Saturdays, for those who watch those videos, I mentioned, yo, I really want to go deep on this. I don't have time to go deep because I'm so busy, but I can, I'm going to get to it. And man, it's going to be like so detailed, so useful, so helpful. So for me, it was just like one, yeah, you are busy, so you can't put what you want to put into, into this video. I don't need to drop another video just for some views or anything like that. I'm not doing it in concern for anything like that. I have specific purpose and reasoning and why I'm approaching things the way I'm approaching things, right? So with that being said, I rather take that energy, make sure I'm putting it into creating those videos that will get the impact and are communicated exactly how I want to make sure they're communicated. All right. Because I don't have an issue with dropping and like um, and, and getting in my own head. I don't have any of that stuff. And I already have a lot of content going, but making sure I get the message out and my energy is put into these massive opportunities that I'm working on consistently right now is going to be more valuable to me, frankly, than dropping just to drop, especially if I'm not getting the message out how I want to get it just because I'm too busy. Right. So I'm, it's already a lesser version of what I want to do. You get what I'm saying? So if you're not training your muscle, right? If you're not trying to get a better feel for people, if you're not trying to just boost your views and like feed the algorithm, you know, you really have to start thinking about why are you doing this, right? And depending on how deeply those things matter or where you are on that playing field, you still might want to just commit to four weeks, six weeks, I don't know, four months, that's completely fine. And you know what you can do after that? You can step back, take in that information and then come back at it. You can do another sprint.
but you can take a break, analyze, get a better feel, because maybe you don't have a feel, um, uh, some time to do a really deep dive in terms of analyzing the operation. So these smaller sprints of doing a song a week are going to be extremely impactful for artists going forward. So you can manage your energy, make sure that you're making an impact and making sure that you aren't on some ego trip, right? Or you aren't lost in the sauce of somebody else's advice that doesn't apply to you where you are right now. And then making sure, right, that you're just getting the most out of your own actions. Make sure you go through these questions and also realize that whenever you commit to something like a song a week, a piece of content a day, it doesn't have to be forever. It doesn't have to be for a year. It could be shorter. And once you go on one sprint, you can start another sprint after one week break. You can start another sprint after one month break. You can stagger and plan to do two big sprints, like two four month sprints, sprints a year. And then in between those, you have only uh, one song that drops within a four month period or something like that. You can get really creative with this, but song of weeks are valuable content every single day is valuable but you can deploy it a lot more strategically than most people are right now so this is my last saturday video for now right for now um i did commit to a year but i had to reanalyze and that's just a part of the game understanding where i am right now and the opportunities i have at hand and the quality of content and things that i can create that i have that i know i'm sitting on i want to make sure every part of my life is being audited and this is just one of the things it didn't even start with this so looking forward to dropping some crazy content hopefully y'all are using these questions to really think through why you're doing what you do because it doesn't just apply to this strategy it applies to all the strategies you're doing why are you doing it you know what i mean man why are you committed to it and is it time to pivot because sometimes the pivot is where the possibilities really are all right that's it y'all be cool peace